Reaper, pretty nice. Let's check out the preferences first of all to make sure we have the optimal audio settings. My device needs to be an ASIO if I'm on a PC and I'll choose my sound card here, my complete audio. These you don't need to worry about, but if you do have some kind of issues, force them to 44 or 48 kilohertz. It is important that you set the buffer size to 128, 256 or 512. I'm gonna look over the MIDI devices and make sure my keyboard is set up. If it's disabled in the list here, I wanna enable it either from the configure input menu, enable input from the device, or directly just by right clicking it in the list and enable input. All good to go, apply the changes, get out of this menu here. And first of all, we're gonna make an audio track. We're gonna apply Vocodyne as an insert effect on this track, and this is gonna be the same track that we record our vocals on. So add it, you can search for it. I'm gonna go with the VST3 version and click add. Now it's there on my audio track. If I wanna use it right away without a MIDI input, which again, I don't really recommend because you get much better results with a MIDI keyboard, you can click keys to set your scale up. Just fill in some keys there, whatever scale that is, and then activate auto mode. And then record, of course. Watch the pro usage video for some tips. To use our MIDI keyboard, we're gonna add another track. And this one is gonna function as the MIDI track. So I'm gonna hit record and select my MIDI keyboard as the input. Just press some keys on the keyboard to make sure I'm getting some input. And then I'm gonna to go to root on the audio track. Under receive, I'm gonna select the second track, the MIDI track, set audio to none, and we should have our MIDI rooted correctly. To make sure Vocodyne is getting the MIDI input, I can pull up the leak knob right here and play the keyboard, and some synthesizer should be coming through. Last step, I promise, is to select the input, I have my microphone connected to input two, so I'm gonna select that, and now arm both tracks, and now we're ready to record. I'm just gonna turn off the auto mode, because they'll clash, and the magical world is open. Again, I recommend that you watch the pro usage video and the interface mastery video, where we go in on detail how to tweak it and how to best use it.